It's your boy, Network. And today's topic is describe IP operations. This is section 1.3 of the CCMP bar exam. Um, I decided to chop these videos up now. Instead of making a whole video for one whole section, I'm going to just break up the videos in, in the, for each subsection. So I don't know about y'all, but I'm, why I used to watch training videos like CBT Nuggets, and I seen someone that said like, 25 minutes or 30 minutes I, I i did not feel like watching it but so that's why i'm gonna try to break these down a little a little more so yeah the first section we're gonna do for this video the last you gonna be the only section is 1.3 a icmp unreachables and redirects i'm gonna spin up a gns3 lab for y'all go through these powerpoints i was gonna do it in packet tracer but it's a uh, it's a lot it's, it's a lot better if I do it in GNS3. Shout outs to CCMP Seth. He kind of helped me out with his lab. I had a little issue with it and he gave me a, a little tip and I was able to get it up and running. So go ahead and check out his YouTube channel. Uh, also, shout out to your boy Dewan Lightfoot for the Lab Everyday t shirt. I want it on his channel. These are fresh, so kind of keeps you motivated unless you have, I ain't gonna wear the shirt every day, but I'm gonna try to lab every day. So, but yeah, dude is really inspiring. Check out his channel, it's at lab every day. Oh no, actually, that's his Twitter. I don't know his YouTube channel, but you search Duan Lightfoot if you in the you know networking community, I'm sure you heard of. So, anyways, commands we're gonna go over are no IP redirects and no IP unreachables. There are the negated commands for IP redirects and IP unreachables, but by default, they're already turned on. They won't show up in the uh, in the running configuration or in the startup configuration if you have it saved. Obviously, to turn them off, you just put no in front of them both. So, so yeah, first section, 1.3a, ICMP unreachables. So basically, as long as definition I got, yes, I'm going to give off. I'm going to give y'all one guess on where I got it from. Actually, I might not have gotten it from this, but Wikipedia is probably where I got this one from. I, I just keep running into them. I'm just going to call my channel the network bro slash Wikipedia sources. I don't know. So unreachables are kind of like, it's like a detour mess, uh, like a detour message that, that's given to you when there's no way to get to a specific destination. So... It's like if you're trying to you're trying to get somewhere, right? And all along the way, but actually, you try to send a message, and you and along the way, you, a router is going to tell you it can't it can't receive or it can't reach a specific either host or network, and you'll get this message right here, it's unreachable. I'm going to kind of demonstrate that in GNS3. So yeah, this is the definition right here: the ICMP destination unreachable message acts as a feedback mechanism for a router. To let the source de device know that it has no method to communicate with the desired destination. You got a third party source that you're trying to reach your friend, another friend. And you're like, hey, um, you get a hold of so and so for me? And like, all right, all right. And then that same person be like, I couldn't get a hold of him for you. That's what the unreachable is. That that intermediary, that that person that's in the middle, is telling you that they can't reach that source. If you, you know, run it in, in a in a command prompt, as you can see right there at the bottom, in the Windows command prompt, you ping something and it can't reach, it'll tell you destination to host unreachable. In Cisco iOS, you'll get an unreachable message, but you'll also get the address of the router that's telling you to, uh, that they, it can't reach a specific, you know, destination. And I'll demonstrate that for y'all as well. So here's a perfect example, this little picture right here, host A, trying to communicate with host B. He sends a packet. The router one is like, I don't know where the fuck host B at. So he sends you a message right there at the bottom that says, host B unreachable. That's it, that's that's what an unreachable is. There's a couple of types of ICMP messages. The ones you really need to know for this exam, as I said before, is unreachables and redirects. That's the ICMP messages that you kind of need to know, that you need to know. The types, are type three, which is unreachable, and type five, redirect message. Now each type got a code. Type three is unreachable, right? The type three codes, you don't really need to know all this. It's good to know though, there's six codes. Network unreachable, you can't reach a specific network. Host unreachable, you can't obviously can't reach a specific host or like a node, whether it's a printer, a computer, whatever. A microwave, because you know they got internet of things now. Protocol unreachable, like we can't reach a specific, uh, a 
specific protocol, a port, unreachable, like you can't reach a, a, an open port number, like port 23, which is Telnet. So if you can't reach, if you're trying to get to a specific destination at port 23, then you'll get that code, codes four and five. You don't need to memorize these, but you know, that's the, that's the code, that's the codes for type three. And those are the type five codes. I should have put this at the end of the slide. I'll go over to these later. Well, actually, no, I'll continue. Type five is for redirects. That's like I said, when you're trying to get to it, you know, you, you get a detour message trying to go I-10 to get to Texas or whatever. And you get to a toll booth and they're going to tell you how to get somewhere better. That's what a redirect message does. It tells you how to get somewhere better. So give y'all, uh, I don't remember. I, this ain't even the definition. This is just a note I wrote, I wrote kind of. Uh, redirect is a message given to you by a router along the way, letting you know, there's a better or faster way to get to your destination. It's like you trying to, I always say my boy, you try to get to your boy house and he's like, how you came over here? And you're like, oh, I took, you know, road 405 or whatever. And he's like, you should have took, you know, the you should have took the local roads. You would have got here a lot more faster because that's that road is always packed or whatever. So that's what a redirect message is. Shout out to CCMP Seth for helping me go out, out with this lab. This is Router 3. We're going to use this as our host. We turned off routing on him, but we set his def we set his default gateway to be router 2, this guy right here. Now, he needs to try to get to router 4. He got two ways to get there. He can go to router 2, or he can take router 1. But for this part, I'm going to just demonstrate unreachables on what happens when he can't reach a specific destination. Router 4, I set his loopback address to be 4.4.4.4. .4 .4 .4. And uh, he don't have no routes to get there because I'm not advertising that route on this on this guy right here. Let's go ahead and console in the route route of three. I don't know. I, I don't messed up the the, the naming convention on this. Going to route of three. What we want to do is break down our ICMP package. The way we do that is debug IP ICMP, and that turns on debugging for ICMP packets. Basically, you breaking down the ping packets that's going back and forth between your PC or your your device and, and the end host. Um, so now we're going to ping 4.4.4.4. We got some unreachables right here. These U's right here mean unreachable, right? And here, let me go ahead and show y'all. Actually, let me just move my glass out of the way. <laughs> go up here so we got these unreachable messages right here we got four of them right we got them from 10.0.0.2 who's that that's router 2 that's our default gateway so we went to our default gateway and said hey I need to get the 4.4.4 and he basically said I don't got no routes to get there and sent them back an unreachable message now the thing with unreachables is you you can turn them off and turn it back on. It's it's a it's a to leave it on by de it's, by default is on. Now it's a good troubleshooting tool because if you let's say for example you needed to reach a server or something like you really needed to get to destination 4.4, but for some reason you can't ping it. The unreachable is gonna tell you you know you know it's gonna give you a little bit of information so right now we just got the message that um, we can't reach 4.4 from this gateway right here now that's good for us it'll help us troubleshoot when we when we network but it's not good for uh, uh, somebody that's hacking your system because be like okay hey uh, how do I get I'm trying to get the 4.4.4 and then obviously he got more he got some information about especially on your on your edge on, on your edge ports that's some you know some useful information for an attacker anybody that's trying to hack your system now you can turn off unreachables you see we reached it we we got the unreachable from 10 0, 0, 0, 2, right that's router 2's fast ethernet 0, 0 interface now we now again we can turn it off right here and the way we do that obviously is no ip unreachables we'll go ahead and do that and see what happens console into him Oh, I'm just getting a little, I'm just getting kind of acclimated with Solar Putty. I'm in old school, you know, Putty and Secure CRT. Uh, Solar Putty's pretty, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty good, man. You know, you got, you could tab it out and all your sessions in one window. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. It's not even loading up my 
router. It ain't that slow. What are we at here? Let me try the console in again. Console, let's go. Killing me here. Okay. So we wanted to do configure terminal. We're going to go in the interface FA00. And we're going to do no IP un reachables that turns off unreachables on that interface now let's go ahead and ping router 2 again see I, that, that second window that came up I got too much stuff going on in this laptop put put all right configure no I'm sorry ping 4.4.4.4 sending sending waiting to get some unreachables waiting waiting we didn't get no unreachables why did that happen because we turned it off so that's what happens and you know like i said it's, it's good for security re security reasons but leaving them on is good for you know troubleshooting now uh, let's go ahead and turn it back on just because we'll go back to router two configure terminal interface fa00 Oh, that's another thing I want to show y'all. So, you see I put no unreachables, right? IP unreachable. Let's do a show. Let's do a show run. And then, uh, let's just look at the whole show, show run. Show running configuration. And we want to look at the configuration for fast, engine, fast Ethernet 00. Building, 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 building. Come on, man. Okay. Right here, we got it under fast Ethernet 00, right? No unreachables. It's in there. Now, when you turn it off, it's just not going to be in your in your running or startup configuration. By default, it's already on. So let's go ahead and turn that bad boy off. No, I mean, IP. Well, turn it back on is what we're doing now. Unreachables. and let's get out of that all right perfect so back to the slides uh, it helps with troubleshooting no unreachables uh provide security though so we're gonna go over icmp redirects now icmp redirects are used by routers to inform hosts that there is a better hop to reach a certain destination so again you try to get to your boy house you got there actually you didn't even get there yet you went to, you know, you went to another friend. It's like, hey, I'm trying to get to, you know, so-and-so house. And like, oh, don't go this way. Go that way. And that's what this, that's what ICMP redirects are. Here's an example of that. The funny thing about this little topology right here is, I, you know, I tried to do an Invisio. I couldn't really fuck with it, man. Um, I even requested it at my job. You know, it's like $200 software. So I was like, you know, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to try to learn Invisio. I downloaded stencils. Bunch of, I just couldn't fuck with it. So I said, let me just screenshot a little packet tracer. So that's what I did. Anyways, laptop zero is trying to get to the internet, right? He sends a packet to router zero. Router zero is like, uh, nah, it's a better way if you go through router one. So he sends a message back. So he sends a message back to the laptop. He receives it and he's like, oh, I got a better way now. And he takes the switch, go through the switch and goes through router one to router two to the internet. And that's what an ICMP redirect does visually. Um, we'll show y'all that. And GNS3, router three. We already consoled into him. So let's do this. I'm going to show y'all real quick. So router three, I'm going to try to get to, to the loopback address of router four, which is 4.4.4.4, right? So we're going to go to router three. And remember now, he got two ways to get there. He can go to router two or router one. But router two is his default gateway. Router two is his default gateway. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to ping 34.34.2. Let me bring him up. I want to ping this interface right here. That boy right there. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. Router three. Send a message. Boom. You see that first message right there? We got some replies. We got five replies. But we also got this message right here, which is a redirect. We got the redirect from 10.0.0.2, or 10.0.0.2, which is my default gateway. So I send the message. Router 2's 
ten zero zero two interface sends back out and says, "Nah, bro, it's a better way to go. You got to go through router one." And that's what happened right there. It even says it right here. Breaks it down for you. Redirect received from ten zero zero two for this network. Use gateway ten zero zero three, which is this guy right here. Right. So uh, we're gonna turn off ICMP redirects again. This is another way to kind of help you uh, troubleshoot your network also, but it can also provide, you know, a security risk because it's giving you information. Hey, you know, you can't get to this. You, it's a faster way to get somewhere. Use this route. Let's go into router two, fast Ethernet. So we can go to interface FA00, no IP redirects. Let's go back to router three, send a message back to 34.34.2 and do ping 34.34.34.2. We send a message. All we got were echo replies. We didn't get the redirect. So we was able to reach it and we got, but we just got an echo reply. That's all it was right there. We didn't get any kind of uh, redirects. It just went straight to the source. Let's do a trace route to see which way he went. 34.34.34.2. And there you go. We even got some uh, time to live or some, uh, yeah, TTL uh, exceeded. So we went to hop number 10.0.0.2, which is our default gateway, right? And then... So he went to 10.0.0.2, and he went back to 10.0.0.3. That's the second hop. And then he made it to his final destination, 34.34.34.2. And that should be it. That's the end of the slideshow. If y'all like this video, comment, like, subscribe to my channel, The Network. Bruh.